Hi, my name is Solomon King and welcome to my YouTube channel where I share business tips, entrepreneurship experiences from my own personal journey and from the guests that I have on this channel. Please take a minute to hit the subscribe button if this is the kind of content that you think you'd love to enjoy. Over the last 16 years, I have helped thousands of individuals, businesses, and organizations get online. In the time, I've seen technologies change rapidly and the cost of going online has reduced significantly. However, there's still a lot of confusion around what it takes to actually get online, specifically getting a website for personal or business purposes. In this 5 minutes tips video, I'll break down for you precisely what it takes to get online and I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. The first, a disclaimer, this is very high level information, it's an overview to explain the process, there are lots of additional technicalities that will take way much longer than the 5 minutes that I've planned, and I'll be, but I'll be happy to answer any additional questions in the comments. Secondly, I use terms like generally and typically a lot to indicate something that should be an industry standard, um, but, it, but this can be affected by how different companies and countries handle their own services, products and policies. So. Let's get started. To get your website online, you need four things. First, you need a name for your company, product, brand, or service. Second, you need a domain name. Third, you need an actual website hosting service. And fourth, the website itself. A domain name is basically the address that people use to find your website. You know, like fundibots.org or king.ug or youtube.com. The last part of a domain name is called an extension. For example, you have extensions like .com, .co.ug, .co.ke, .org, etc. Domain names can be country-specific domain names corresponding to the country that owns it or a generic top-level domain that is used on a more international level. All domain names are bought from a domain name registrar who charges you an annual fee to establish and maintain your domain name. Country-level domain names are typically purchased from an entity within the country or like an approved organization within the country, while generic top-level domain names are, can be purchased from uh, lots of international entities. There are some exceptions as some country-level domain names can be purchased from international registrars. To give two examples, I can purchase a country-level domain name like kafolu.ug from the registrar company based in Uganda, or I can choose to go international by purchasing kafolu.com from hundreds of international um, registrars and I filter out who can give me the best price for that. Country level domain names are typically more expensive. The domain name you choose should not affect whether or not your website is accessible internationally. A .ug is generally as good as a .com, but people typically prefer .com for various reasons including prestige, cost, etc. But having said that, .com domains are very hard to get uh, because most of the usual names, most of the common phrases and names have already been taken. So most people use other extensions where available because it's easier to get other extensions with the name that you want. So once you have your domain name, you need hosting. Hosting, quite simply, is buying computer space on a super fast computer called a server that is connected to the internet 24-7 um, all year long with fast internet connection, stable power supply, and a technical support team to manage it. These are called servers and they're typically located in places that are called data centers. You can set up hosting in your own home, it's possible, but you really need to know what the hell you're doing. So the best option is generally to pay a professional company um, for the peace of mind, the convenience, and the reliability that they bring to this process. Website hosting is basically used to store your website files, to send and receive emails from your domain names, for example, orders at kafuru.com, you can generally create as many emails as you want on your hosting service. You typically purchase hosting in packages which are paid monthly, quarterly, or annually. Most website hosting companies set it up so that the more months that you pay for upfront, the cheaper the hosting package becomes. The cost of the website hosting varies with each company and depends on options like the amount of disk space you need, how many domains you want to host at the same time, and other technical features. So once you've purchased your hosting, the next thing you need to do is that your domain name needs to be connected to your website hosting. Typically, the hosting service provider will walk you through this process or will give you instructions. Once the domain is connected to the hosting service, 
it takes about 24 hours for your domain to become um, active or accessible to the general public, um, to the general internet. That process is called propagation. And once your domain name is active, then you can start sending and receiving emails from your brand new address. You don't need a website to send emails. Some people just use domains purely to get a custom email address. But in case you want to have a website, this is the time when you can now set it up. Um, so this is typically where things get a little bit more expensive. Um, there are three main ways you can build a website. The cheapest option is to buy a website template um, from different sites that sell the templates and then set it up yourself. This requires a bit of technical skill, but it's generally achievable for those with some level of computer and technical expertise. It might cost you about $10 to $50 for the template itself, and um, but after that you have to spend a few hours or days tinkering. But you can also get templates for free. The second option is to buy a template and have a professional set it up for you on your website hosting. Most sites that sell templates also offer a professional setup host or professional setup service. This might cost you an extra $50 to $100 on top of the template. The third and most expensive option is to get a custom designed website built to your exact specifications. This can cost anywhere from $250 to hundreds of thousands of dollars and can take anything from a week to a few months to build. Once your website is set up on your hosting package, then you are fully online. So that's it, a very quick and high level explanation for getting online. You can use this as a checklist or a guide as you talk to your IT person um, to discuss uh, getting online. But if you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section and I'll be happy to respond to them. And finally, if you love this content, hit the like button, drop a comment and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be sharing more of this business and growth tips as this channel grows and hopefully it will be the kind of content that you enjoy. Until next time, onwards and upwards. Solomon King, out.